Hey Raiders, welcome back to another episode of Raider Weekly. This episode we have a bunch of exciting segments for your enjoyment. Starting off with Brianna, she's doing politics. Ben, he's gaming. Carson, doing a book review. Carson and Katie did a joint segment where they play hide and seek in the school. And Brody and Clay did a joint segment as well where they talk about sports together. That's uh, all for the segments. But Mason, Halloween was this past weekend. How was your Halloween? My Halloween was pretty good. My mommy made these little uh, trick or treat bags for the trick or treaters who came to her house. You know, I, I stole like quite a few of them from her. How many? At least ten. Oof. At least ten. And I'm got that dad for a reason. <laughs> Gosh. Anyways, I went to sports with Clay and Brody. Brody O'Malley alongside Clay Jameson, and this is sports. Clay, take it away. Last Friday, the football team played Galena Bulldogs at home. Final score was 25-7. to seven. And now they face off against Burlington, who are 7-1 this season. Yes, yes. Clay, big game. Big game against uh, Galena. You guys came out on top. Uh, mm -hmm. Went there and watched the game, and you guys look great offensively and defensively. Oh, yeah. Played pretty good. Yep. Yeah, uh, made a few good plays down the stretch uh, offensively and defensively. Big stops the whole game. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, Colin McCartney played yeah. great. Mario McGinney. Mario did pretty good, too. Hey, yeah. Hey, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in a few more matchups. Oh, yeah. Shout out to the O line for doing a great job. Great job. Yeah, facts. Facts. Whole team, bro. Whole team. Oh, yeah. That was just a great win. Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. did, Everybody did right. support. Yep, that's going to wrap up sports for this week, and on to the next segment. Hi there, Raiders, and welcome back to Raider Weekly's Book Club. Once again, I'm Carson Westoff, and this week's book is actually a manga consisting of seven books by Yoshitoki Oima. A manga is a Japanese comic book, for those of you who don't know. Our blurb for this book is, Shoya is a bully. When Shoko, a girl who can't hear, enters his elementary school class, she becomes his favorite target and Shoya and his friends go at each other into devising new tortures for her. But the children's cruelty goes too far, and Shoko is forced to leave the school, while Shoya ends up shouldering all of the blame. Six years later, the two meet again. Can Shoya make up for his past mistakes, or is it too late? Our quotes for this book are, I hate myself, most of all, for thinking like that. And I began isolating myself of my own accord, Maybe so that I could convince myself that I wasn't really alone from book one. And no matter how good of a person you think you have become, someday you get what's coming to you from book five. I love this book because it sends a great message about bullying and being different. Quoted by Anime News Network, this book is a very powerful story about being different and the consequences of childhood bullying. You should read it. That's all for this week's book club. We only have one vocab word today, and that is koe no kahachi, which is the shape of a voice in Japanese, which is this manga's alternative title. It also has a Netflix adaptation under the name A Silent Voice for those of you who would like to check it out. On to the next segment with Ben Potts. Today in my segment, I'm going to be going over how to play Among Us and basically just what Among Us is. So let's get into it. So uh, from here, you're going to want to hit find game in public. Uh, then you're just going to want to click on one of these. I clicked on the polis map. And then there's 10 out of 10 people, so it should be uh, starting soon. So when it starts, it'll look like this. I'm a crewmate. There are two imposters. So as a crewmate, you have these little uh, tasks up here. And then you can look at them on your map. So basically, while you're crewmate, you're just going to want to have to run around and do these tasks. Uh, this one, just a quick one. Just turn the temperature up, and then once that task is complete, it'll show up green. And there's some of these that are multi Okay, so the lights just got turned off. So the imposter turned the lights off. So now people cannot see as well, and that makes it easier for them to kill. As, yeah, so that's why they killed. So this is the chat where uh, they will talk. We'll talk in uh, pretty much 
trying to figure out who the imposter is so we can get them voted out. That's basically your role as a basically your role as a, a crewmate to get the imposters out. Orange killed outside of electrical is what he's saying. So if he, I guess, saying to trust him. So I guess we are voting orange. So he was an imposter. So we got one out, one more remains. So we. Red was the imposter. So Red just killed me. So when you're a ghost, you can pretty much go through anything, go anywhere. Uh, and you can still do your tasks so they can win by doing their tasks also. That's also how crewmates win, is getting their uh, tasks done. So right here, there's one imposter left and two crewmates. So if they don't get it, which they did. So red was the imposter, they got it right, so the crewmates sh should win. Yep. Alright. So that was Among Us. Uh, you guys can play it for yourself, it's on mobile. I played this on computer is why I have the mouse and could do all that, but mobile just has a little a little joystick in the corner here and you it's the exact same game on mobile than it is on here. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for guys for watching my segment. <laughs> okay guys, so we are about to play hide and seek and Carson's gonna hide first. I'm gonna set a one minute timer. And then I'm gonna try and find her. Awesome. Guys, time to hide. Say bye to Katie. Bye bye, Katie. Bye bye, Katie. <laughs> I'm really not sure where to hide this time. And I only have a minute. And my minute's already almost up. So I think I'm just gonna hide further down in the hallway. My minute's up. She's gonna be coming around that corner any second. All right, my timer just went off. I am now looking for Carson. We're pulling over by Miss Comstock's room and we're gonna hide right here in the corner. In the corner of like. So I'll see you if I see anything, okay? I really hope that this does not take me long. <laughs> I have not found her yet. <laughs> All right, so Katie obviously found me. Yay. See you guys when it's Katie's turn to hide. It's Katie's turn to hide. Yay. See you guys when it's time to set the timer. Bye. Bye. Say bye to Katie. Bye, bye. Katie. All right, so I know where I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide in Miss Collins' room. See, where can I hide? Hey guys, my timer just went off, so we're gonna go find Katie. Hopefully we can find her fast. I don't think she's anywhere too difficult. Um, we did get permission from Miss Collins, so she might be in there. And I don't think she would go as far as like Mr. Lee's room or Mr. Buzzard's room. So I'm just gonna stick with like these hallways. There's no way she's gonna find me. Um, let's see if she's hiding over here. Um, she's not here. And surprise, surprise, she's not where I hid earlier. So we're gonna backtrack. I don't know, maybe she'd be in the cafeteria annex around there. Maybe not. Um, there's no one right there. No one over here. So it's been like five minutes and she has not found me. I, I'm down by the junior high finally. We're gonna see if she's down this hallway. Maybe put peek into Miss Collins' room and see if she's there. So she's not in that hallway. So I'm gonna check in the room. Oh goodness. 
There's so many places she could hide in here. Be under the desks. Oh, she just found me. That took you a long time. Hey guys, Katie and I found out that this footage was outdated and now we can't record together because she's quarantined. But we hope you had a great Halloween and that's it for this week's hide and seek segment. On to the next Hello. one. Welcome to the politics section of Verda Weekly. Today is November 6, 2020 and the presidential election was Tuesday uh, on the 3rd. Right now we know a couple things. Um, the biggest is that Joe Biden stands pretty much in the position to take this. It's very unlikely that Trump will be able to come back. Um, Biden has taken over the lead in Georgia, Nevada, and Pennsylvania. He had to win all three of those in order to get 270. <laughs> it's highly unlikely Trump will come back from that. We aren't for sure on anything yet. Things could change. Um, the race has not been called as of right now. That's all I have for you today. It's a short day. We don't know much yet. We're not for certain. I will cover some of the, the minor stories of the election, some of the littler elections um, in the next episode. The original outro was kind of bad, so I reissued it. That's why I look different. Don't worry. I am okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Uh, I'll definitely keep my eyes glued on the TV and some extra stuff. But until then, um, stay safe. Stay healthy and bye. That's it for this week's episode of Raider Weekly. We hope you all enjoyed it. We had some good segments this week. Bree and Ben had some good ones. Carson and Katie's segments were really cool with the hide and seek. And the Zoom sports was also really cool. I like that, how they're doing sports over Zoom now. And thank you all for coming. Wish the football team some luck tonight. And see you next time.